all, what's up ladies and gentlemen? So, welcome to our episode of Ninth Lord in the Ninth House, as in what happens when a planet that is controlling your ninth house in your astrological chart is sitting in its own house, in the ninth house. And obviously we do not know where your ninth lord is placed and where your other lord through houses are placed and your planetary alignments. For that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects at the Speed of Light. Okay. So, ninth house. What is ninth house? And this is actually going to be a very easy, simple one This in this video. Well, ninth house represents law, higher philosophy, higher education, higher spiritual philosophy, religious philosophy, religious practices, post-grad education, like MBA, PhD, you know, doctorate degree. Um, it represents traveling abroad for education, traveling to other places and experiencing different cultures and different people through which you're gonna learn, through which you're gonna grasp a certain philosophy, through which you're gonna grasp a certain, uh, you know, um, higher spiritual value. Ninth house represents your teachers, your gurus. So what happens when this planet is sitting in its own house? Well, first of all, it's providing a protection to that house. Meaning, it'll be hard for people to deter you from your true and rightful spiritual and religious path than if your planet was placed somewhere else. Here, planet is showing that I am here to guide you the right way. I'm here to show you the dharmic path, the, the, the way you were supposed to see. So what this shows is that, and, and one thing to remember, that even in this placement, you can have a complete opposite result if a certain planet is conjunct or aspects this ninth lord, but it'll still protect. Here, people will have a hard time deterring you from your values. Here, you are content with your religious views, spiritual views, philosophical views. You don't need to go and get your... Uh, ninth house things from elsewhere like six thousand mile give you six thousand may give you philosophical education by dealing with you know enemies by dealing with obstacles the ghettos you know people in unprivileged places when ninth floors in the ninth house shows that you will gain your true philosophy to your true education from a certain guru from a certain person you will be very content when it comes to traveling like especially in Mahadasha or the time periods of planet who is controlling the ninth house is sitting in the ninth house shows that you will be very much inclined to travel and meet certain kind of people. Because your ninth lord is in the ninth house, it'll show you those kind of people. It'll show you those kind of gurus. But mainly, the most simplest way to show it is that your higher philosophy or everything related to the ninth house, you feeling fortunate, is very content. You're confident about what you believe in. You're confident about what kind of teachers and people you run into. You're not having second thoughts. Like ninth Lord and the eighth house can suddenly transform your belief. Meaning that now your belief is suddenly changed and you're, you weren't in control of it. Here you're in control of it. Here you're in control of how you wanna uh, progress in your life through your higher self, okay? Now, depending upon what planet is controlling this scenario, you know, we can now discuss that as to what is happening. So let's say if Sun controls your ninth house and it's in its own sign, shows that great relationship with the father. Father is the one who instilled all the beliefs in you of philosophy, religion, and spirituality. Father taught you to always follow the law. Father taught you to always follow your righteous belief. And through Father, your higher self, your higher dharmic values were attained. If your Father was not in your life, Father type figure was there. Same thing with the Moon. If Moon is there, your mother was the one who was doing everything that the Father was doing. Your mother was the one instilling all the higher values in you. Philosophical values in you, spiritual values in you. More spiritual than religious because of the fact Moon is a spiritual planet. It's a very calm, soothing planet. Where religion is hot like Jupiter and Sun. Religion creates war. Religion creates difference between two people. This is why religion always leads to fire, to heat. 
to war, to blood, where spirituality is tranquility. Spirituality is water, where it can go through anything and anyone and it'll always merge. So two people with the different spiritual beliefs will eventually realize they have the same spiritual belief. Where religion could be different. Religion could be, you know, you can only marry a woman from this caste. You can only marry a woman who is this or you can only marry a man who might be this. Spirituality is always one. So this is why this is where sun and moon will differentiate. You'll be more inclined towards spirituality than religion. Where religious activities will be a very much a part with sun. Let's say Mercury controls your ninth house, sits in the ninth house, shows you like communicating about the ninth, ninth house things. You love to your speech, your communication ability is all about um, seeking a higher intellectual conversations with other people. You like to discuss about religious books, spiritual books, philosophy. Your speech is always about perhaps argumentative or not even argumentative sharing different ideas with different people about philosophy and religion. You are highly intelligent in terms of gaining higher education like master's, PhD, you know, uh, doctorate degree. Your logical and your analytical intelligence finds its way to its higher self, meaning you add more to your intelligence that it already had because you went to the post-grad field. And these people can actually even make very good preachers as Mercury, as much as Mercury is not a preacher. In this case, because it's controlling, let's say if I am Mercury, this is the Gemini sign and I'm sitting on Gemini chair, but this room is the ninth house. Guess what I'm doing now? My whole energy and DNA has transformed to communicate and to talk about these things. So this is why you will actually see surprisingly you will see more preachers with Mercury influencing the ninth house than Jupiter. Jupiter doesn't like to talk too much. Jupiter likes to just advise, but Mercury likes to talk. Mercury likes to have a conversation. Let's say if Venus controls your ninth house, is sitting in the ninth house, shows that you can meet your wife for the man. You can meet your wife in foreign lands while you're traveling to foreign lands. Your wife will come from foreign lands. You can be and meeting somebody from your same religion or background yet in foreign lands. Your ability to love, your ability to form relationship really takes um, a higher value when you are interacting with people with different culture and background. You have tremendous passion for traveling. You have tremendous passion for accumulating value of other cultures. Meaning that these are the people, especially Venus and Taurus, are the people who love antique things from different countries. Venus can show that somebody who likes to collect merchandise, to collect jewelry, collect, you know, gems from different countries and different cultures. You go and visit a African tribe and you love to have their jewelry. You know, that's what Venus does here. Here you can become a world traveler. Your higher beliefs and your higher artistic self really shows a philosophical value and a spiritual value in your art. So great designers, great, you know, are, uh, uh, artistic people are seen from this because every ninth house planet is looking at the third house. And here Venus is tremendously influencing your ability for, to connect with the media, to connect with, um, you know, your artistic side with a higher spiritual value. Mars can show that um, your ability to attain higher education and attain higher belief system is really like a rock. You have this ability, even with, here's the thing about Mars, even Mars being its own sign really finds a tremendous amount of power struggle with teachers and gurus. Here Mars says that I am going to create my own philosophy, I'm going to create my own values, but all I need to do is I just need to show people that I, I am better than you. And this is to the Guru. Here Mars can show higher value and education of fighting skills, engineering, protecting, law, implementation of the law like a lawyer because Mars is the karka of law, lawyer, not law, lawyer because lawyer fights for you through law. 
So here a lawyer is definitely seen who will fight for, you know, um, any kind of injustice in religious places and spiritual places because even churches and temples need lawyers these are the lawyers who can go and help universities help you know um, uh, educational institution but this is one planet that becomes very much determined of what it wants to believe in this can also show that you may have had power struggle with your father's belief system as well Although your father really made you to be a fighter and you thank him for that, you still had these battles with your father. Let's say if Jupiter controls the ninth house, is sitting in the ninth house, this can make somebody a teacher, professor. Because instead of becoming a preacher, here now Jupiter aspects your fifth and first house, fifth house of education. This is why professors, teachers are seen from this. You lie, your whole philosophical and religious belief. Here's the thing with Jupiter. Either Jupiter will believe more in religion or more in spirituality depending upon what sign it's sitting in. But here your luck is really seen through attaining higher education. More you interact with your teachers, more you interact with gurus, people who are wise, your luck rises and your intelligence rises. Highly intelligent people with this this kind of a uh, uh, Jupiter let's say if Saturn controls your ninth house it's in the ninth house shows that you are very content disciplined and hard worker towards your higher education shows that even Saturn in its own sign may not have given you access to right teachers or right gurus because the teachers that you met the gurus that you met early on in life were extremely uh, uh, strict they were extremely, you know, uh, strict about you following certain values and laws. And remember, the reason why Saturn, even if it's exalted, not even exalted, let's say if it's an old sign, why is it that it still gives that heavy responsibility to you? Because as a child, when you're in a phase of a child, phase of a child cannot relate to Saturn. Phase of a child relates to Mars, physical activity, relates to Mercury, you know, communication, conversation, fun and games. This is why Saturn here for a young kid will still feel a lot of stress towards through father, through teachers. I'll be like, oh my God, I have to do this. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll do it. Now, if your moon, your mind supports the Saturn, that your mind is in an earth sign, these are the people from childhood, they're very serious. They always are wanting to learn. They always want to learn everything in their life. Here, Saturn makes you give, uh, brings you across very older people as teachers. Perhaps your father was very senior in your age, like 40 years, 35 years in age. Here, Saturn can show that till your 30s, you may not have had access to higher education or traveling, but after you went to your mid 30s or 30s you suddenly started wanting to explore things you wanted to break the boundaries of saturn how saturn has the ring you want to break those boundaries and then eventually you become a very strict discipline follower philosophy and religion here religious activities can be very hardcore you are probably that person who was forced to get up at 4 a.m in the morning to do some sadhana with your father to do some sadhana with a certain teacher and you just felt kind of constrained. But Saturn always instills hard values. Like you will know what ninth house is here. But the problem here with Saturn, even if it's in its own sign or exalted, is that you will try to portray that on other people. You will be like, you must learn this. This is written in rock. Where Saturn doesn't realize nothing is written in rock. It's all illusion, smoke, and up in the air. Okay? So guys, this is my analysis of 9th Lord in the 9th house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And again, if you want to know where your other planetary placements are, or if you want to know um, all the details of astrology, for that, check out the links here and check out my books and reports. Thank you. Bye-bye.